Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wuthering Waves video. So today in this video we're going to be taking a look at Zhang Li Yao's kit and basically give you guys my overall thoughts on his kit. So if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Wuthering Waves content and as always Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so taking a look at Xiang Li Yao's normal attack, they're very very simple. His basic attack performs 5 consecutive attack dealing electro damage. His heavy attack uh, costs stamina, which deals also electro damage. His mid-air attack uses um, a plunging attack uh, from mid-air that costs stamina, dealing electro damage. And finally, his dodge counter uh, uses basic attack after a successful dodge and dealing electro damage as well. So nothing too crazy with his normal attacks. We're gonna go over his resonance liberation right now. Alright guys, so I kinda wanted to take a look at Shang Li Yao's resonance skill and resonance liberation at the same time because his resonance skill is just one line of text which has attack the target dealing electro damage but don't worry guys it's not that simple it's gonna get uh enhanced later on when I explain his fourth circuit but taking a look at his resonance liberation it's called cog cogitation model so what it says is attack the target dealing electro damage and enter an intuition state so basically during the intuition state you have three hypercubes and each time you use resonance skill law of rain which will be explained later on in the video when I explain the fourth circuit, he will consume one hypercube. So basically, in that intuition state, Shang Li Yao has an enhanced basic attack and enhanced heavy attack, which performs up to three consecutive attacks, dealing electro damage, which is pretty good. His resonance skill deduction is replaced with resonance skill divergence, which deals electro damage as well. And his dodge attack is replaced with dodge attack unfathomed, which is considered liber resonance liberation damage, obviously dealing electro damage. So his Hazardous Liberation is actually really, really strong, which basically gives him enhanced attack in every single uh, ability that he has, which is really, really good. Alright guys, so before I go into his uh, fourth circuit, I kind of want to take a look at some keywords that are really, really important to his kit and make sure you guys take notes uh, in order for you guys to understand everything in his kit. So the first keyword is called capacity, which Shang Liao can hold up to 100. Um, and basically, the only way for you to get capacity is using his basic attack and or his uh, unenhanced resonance skill, so which is called deduction. Uh, when you're in intuition, which is basically when you enter his resonance liberation, Shang Liao cannot gain any sort of capacity. So you have to keep that uh, in mind when playing uh, Shang Li Yao, especially when you're using his Resonance Liberation. So his second keyword is called Performance Capacity, which is basically the enhanced version of Capacity, and he can hold up to five Performance Capacity. So the only way for you to get that is when you are in Intuition or when you trigger his Resonance Liberation. So for you to get Performance Capacity, you need to either use his first stage basic attack, uh, Pivot Impale, which is his enhanced one when he's in Resonance Liberation, uh, his second stage and his third stage of his basic attack, Pivot Impale, his um, Resonance Skill Divergence, which is, is his enhanced resonance skill, and finally his mid-air attack revamp on hit, which is also um, his enhanced uh, mid-air attack. So keep that in mind when you're playing Shang Li Yao, and it's very, very important to take note because they become really, really important when I'm going to be explaining the fourth circuit. All right, guys, so going over Shang Li Yao's fourth circuit, uh, he has basically three main skill that you guys need to understand. His first resonance skill is called Resonance Skill Design. And in order for you guys to get this is to obtain a hundred capacity and basically what will happen is the resonance skill deduction Which is his unenhanced resonance skill will be replaced with resonance skill decipher as we mentioned before and will deal a lot of Electro damage, which is also considered as resonance liberation damage Which is very very good into echo building his second resonance skill is called law of rain Which is basically obtained by going into intuition and obtaining five performance capacity as we mentioned before which will basically replace the enhanced resonance skill divergence into a uh, resonance skill law of rain which will deal a lot of electro damage as well so basically there's a multiple stage of resonance uh, resonance skills which is pretty strong he basically upgrades every time you go into battle which is really really good and finally with his mid-air attack called revamp the only way for you to get this attack is either using resonance skill law of rain which is after using intuition and gaining a bad performance capacity or using the enhanced resonance skill divergence all right after that you use a basic attack to perform a mid-air attack called revamp which will cause stamina and deal a lot of electro damage this is also considered as a resonance liberation damage as well so keep that in mind all right going over Shang Li Yao's intro skill and outro skill his intro skill is extremely extremely simple and basically what it does is that it does a bunch of electro damage on intro but the outro skill is really really strong and it's called chain rule and what it says is when the incoming resonator 
Sparks basic attack hit the target. Shangli Yao will attack the same target, dealing electro damage equal to a percentage of his attack, and he can do it every two seconds up to three times, which is very very strong and basically shows a bunch of power creep with Kalcharo. I think I feel like Kalcharo is getting is getting power crept because of this guy, <laughs> and he's 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 very very strong. So really really good outro skill and uh, very very strong. Going over his passives, they're pretty good. Uh, the first one gives him electro damage bonuses, which is not that bad. And his second one um, basically gives him uh, anti-interrupt when he's in intuition. So not that crazy, honestly, very, very normal, but could be important when you're obviously, you know, going into his ultimate and you don't want your combo to get, you know, interrupted by anything. So you have anti-interrupt, which is pretty nice. So that was basically it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Wuthering Waves content. I feel like Shang Li Yao is actually a pretty, pretty good character and a very good uh, DPS. Uh, I would say so that he's a DPS, but I could be wrong. From looking at this kid, I would assume it he is, but very, very good kid, honestly. And the fact that he can just upgrade his resonance skills over and over again makes him really, really strong, I feel like, but obviously I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys feel about Shang Li Yao's kit. I'd really, really be happy to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Weathering Waves content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.